Welcome, my fellow LEGO fans, to another edition of this old LEGO break. In this episode, we take a look at the old fishing store from LEGO Ideas. Please like and subscribe, and if this is your first time watching, welcome! Hey, while surviving on the fringe of Hurricane Irma, I've decided to build the old LEGO store today. It's a LEGO Ideas project built by Robert Bottenball, and it only took six weeks for the model to reach 10,000 votes on LEGO Ideas. So I'm going to take you on a stage-by-stage -stage build of this great model. This is what the old fishing store looks like after completing the labeled one bags. Here are the four mini figs that come with the old fishing store, but I want to take a look at the details that you get when you build the set. These are the details you learn to become a master builder. The first of which is the foundation of the old fishing store. Just look at the combination of colors we have here. They complement one another and bring a natural blend. I love what they did here by adding a black brick behind this fence element. They created the illusion of depth. If you look here, the stonework is repetitive but only at its foundation. As you get up to the second tier, they begin to make it a little chaotic to give it some diversity. And if you can look here where the spider web is, it is not too early to start adding detail. All right, let's go build bag number two. Here's the build after the completion of the number two bags. The focal point of this step is the flooring. The uneven flat tiles plus exposed studs leaves a weathered look. As is, it could be on a beach of your own Lego town, as a ruin, perhaps from a hurricane or another devastating storm. Here's some great one by three printed bricks and there are plenty of them throughout the build. But you can see the Lego builders and designers use them very sparingly. Overuse of these special pieces would be too much for the eye to handle and would overall make the model look kind of garish. A variety of colors here give credence to its old and worn state. I've used this in my own Lego city. Let me show you. You see a variety of the earth tone colors in the planks when I expand the Crooks hideout set. Now it's time to move on to bag three. At the end of bag three, you begin to see the details of the building and the interior. You also begin to see our first stickers here and here. For this step, I want to point out a few things. First, we don't have the new corner element with knobs on either side. Let me take it apart and show you. This is a great technique if you're working on corner buildings that have this facade on them. When I'm building, I'm always looking for new connections, something I can use in my own builds. And this is one of them. Let me show you. Here we have this piece right here, along with these two pieces put together like so. And then the top of this is just held firm into place here. We also begin to see more exciting colors in this cramped corner office. All right, let's get on with bag four. At the end of bag four, the bulk of the building is taking shape and it is gaining a certain weight. We also have some details in the interior as well as some interesting stickers newspaper covered window right here. I particularly love this little micro build of a desk lamp from some of the newer elements Legos produced. At this stage we get to see a little pop of color right here as well as in the interior with the yellow cup and specially printed sticky pad notes. Okay on to bag five. If stage four was a bit bland in its build the bags five made up for it with great detail. First we got these great crates on the outside containing fish and lobster. And then you have the gorgeous detail 
on the interior. Let's take a closer look. Just look at that detail. That is absolutely magnificent. And a very interesting technique right here, this scuba helmet is just resting carefully on an inverted clear minifigure head. And here's an overhead shot of the interior. Let's get a little closer. Magnificent. With two more bags to go, I'm getting really excited to finish this thing. So let's get on and do it. At the end of step six, look at it. We finished the main building and we're ready to start on the tower. But look at that roof. This is definitely worth noticing. It just lifts up and it's put together on hinges and it has such character. I love it. All right, one more step to go and we're done. And here's the finished product. I tell you what, though it's a straightforward build, the colors and interesting details really makes this a great addition to any Lego city or beach area. I know not everybody can afford this set, but that doesn't mean you can't check out the techniques and incorporate it into your own build by downloading the instructions for free and just perusing over them. And you might find that your next mock will be just as great. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. But more importantly, happy building.